is going on, you guys? It's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube. And today we're taking a look at the Jazzers AEW Unmatched Series Nine, featuring Jamie Hader, the first AEW Jeff Hardy, as well as the debut attire of Brian Danielson. If you are interested in picking up any of these figures, they are now in shipping from RingsideCollectibles.com. You got to shop use discount code for life to save ten percent off your order. A pretty stack set, I will say, with Unmatched Series Nine. We're getting Jamie Hader with the new Women's Championship belt, the first ever AEW Jeff Hardy as well as the debut attire of Brian Danielson. You will see they all look pretty awesome in their uh, unmatched packaging. You get the standard unmatched uh, boxes here with the silver foil on top, the blue background. They look really nice. Jamie Hader only, um, not only comes with the, the belt, she also comes with a set of interchangeable hands. You see Jeff Hardy does come with two heads and two hands as well as that chair. And even Brian Daniels coming with some interchangeable hands and a microphone. I do like how they stepped up. You will see the images of each wrestler here on the front of the box. Flipping over to the side, you will see the AEW logo. Flipping all the way around, you'll get the AEW logo, the figure number, and the series here at the bottom. On the back, you'll get the awesome larger images of each wrestler as well as uh, the rest of the figures from this set. Let's come back. Let's get them all out of their packaging and see what all these figures have to offer. Starting us off, we're taking a look at Jamie Hayter out of the packaging. So let's look at her accessories. You will get a set of interchangeable fisted hands, which look to be in a good scale for the female figures here. She does come with the women's AW Championship belt. I believe we did see this with Tony Storm. This also did come uh, in that four pack. It does have a nice finish to it. I feel like it's hard to tell which is the right side up. I believe this is the right way. Uh, but you can see it has a nice shiny vac finish. Decent size strap. Does not look too big. But moving on to the figure. So she does come with the two open hands here you will see it does have the nail polish as well as the tattoo on her hand uh the head sculpt looks okay she does have kind of like that blonde kind of tint to the front with the brown it looks a little sloppy on the face or on the hair to be honest you can see the sculpting has some decent patterns to it uh, moving on to her top singlet here you will see the kind of nice like this is like a weird kind of multicolor. if you look at it it looks silver but there's like flakes of like blue in there i don't know or kind of like a purple looks kind of like a rainbow it looks pretty awesome i do like how they capture that you will see the color uh the black color in here on the side going all the way down she does have these ugly pins in her arms man and they just look really bad on the female figures i have to say but uh you will see she does kind of have the wraps around her wrist here has some detailing on this one just kind of more of a plain black finish but then that kind of awesome pattern on here i really do like that that came out really nice looking uh further down on her gear it does look like someone took a bite out of her leg here what the hell is that mark jesus a little scratch to it uh but i do again that that awesome pattern you can see it on the knee pad do like the design i feel like they did a good job she does have these straps on the side of her boots you will see her leg tattoo here as well taking a look at the back more of that design so it's a it's a decent figure i actually do like the execution of, a, of her gear i will say the head itself looks to be a little suspect it could be a little better but not a bad jamie haiti figure if you are a big fan of hers for some quick comparisons on the left we have the supreme Britt baker and on the right we have an ultimate edition charlotte flair before we jump into Brian Danielson, and let's have a counter how many times I call him Daniel Bryan, uh, I want to say I didn't realize that the BCC is very heavily weighted within this wave. So we have Daniel Bryan, we have Wheeler Yuta, we have Claudio, as well as John Moxley. So uh, four uh, figures from this set are from the BCC. Just honestly, just kind of hit me and noticed that. But this is, I want to say this is Daniel, uh, debut uh, Brian Danielson. Was it when he debuted with a white t shirt? Or I don't know, I could be wrong. I don't know. I feel like he's worn this look quite a few times, but uh, let's jump into his accessories. So you do get a set of the open hands here for him to, I guess, do his poses. He's coming out, the American Dragon here. He does come with one mic open holding hand and one microphone. I just feel like it's so cheap. Just give me both or, or don't give me them. I don't know. It's just why give me such an odd number of hands? Um, he does have the fisted hands on the figure. I will say my head sculpt, if you guys can see it up there, has some kind of like paint smudging or i don't know just some weird paint applications on it uh i want to get right to the head because i know this is what a lot of people were like ah you if you look at it man i want to zoom see if i can zoom even more look at his teeth i feel like they painted his teeth the color of the beard that just looks really sloppy uh the head sculpt itself i can see what they were going for and it it doesn't capture the worst likeness of daniel bryan from the side here I just, I feel like the way it was executed, I mean, that looks a little worse from that side. From this angle, I definitely see Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson, whatever you want to call him. But I don't know. I, I'm not 100% sold on this head. And I just wanted to jump right into that because I know a lot of people, once these images were released yesterday by Ringside Collectibles, some people are like, I don't know how I feel with that head. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. 
He comes with the plain white t-shirt. Uh, we will remove it. I'm sure it's that standard Daniel Bryan and uh, Bill Torso that we have been seeing, which I feel like is way too big and way too jacked for him. I have seen that uh, Target exclusive figure on my figure, uh, you know, on the figure pegs, and I've been kicking the tires with it to grab it. I don't know, just something about it. It looks okay, but then I feel like this big torso underneath here just, I don't know, kind of turns me off a little bit. Uh, but you'll see he does kind of like a sweatpant kind of design here. He does have a little tie on the front. Got some patches here. Take a look at the back. Kind of like a mustardy kind of color to it. Uh, he does have the blue sneakers on underneath. Looks like he's got some socks uh, painted in a different color for these low top sneakers. I do like the kind of treads on the bottom. So that looks good. You can really plus these up. And remember, all these AW figure parts are interchangeable. So if you guys wanted to swap another guy and just have him in street gear, you can take off that torso or the head. All these pieces will pop off pretty easily. Uh, if you guys want to get one one quick close-up look at that white shirt i feel like jazz or soft goods this isn't bad i mean it's a plain white t-shirt right but it's just they're very thick and i don't know i just kind of prefer mattel's a little thinner a little lighter they just fit a little better on the figures but i mean not much to this figure this is again just kind of a street gear look and i'm all for the street gear look so i'm i don't think this is a bad option here but i i don't know how i feel about that head some Brian Danielson comparisons for you guys. So the only figures I have in my collection are some Mattel Elites. We have when he was the Planets Champion here on the left and on the right, of course, when he was the World Heavyweight Champion. It's main event time. I'm sure all of us have been highly anticipating the debut figure of an AEW Jeff Hardy. It's funny, when he uh, was finally out of his WWE contract, he gave an interview and he said, I feel like they're just keeping me around here to make more action figures of me. And Mattel produced so many great action figures. It's a shame uh, we will not get any more. But uh, let's see what Jazzers has to offer. Let's look at all the accessories included. So Jeff does come with a set of the open interchangeable hands here. You will see the nice tattoo detailing on there. If you guys want me to zoom in real quick. Let's see if I can get a close-up look at all that nice tattoo design on his hand. So I actually really do like how that came out. You also do get, while we're here up close, this chair with all of this Jeff Hardy like art on it. Looks really cool here. It's your standard AW Jazzwares chair. It does open up. I will zoom out so you guys can take a look here. You can see it does have the logos of the Hardys. Looks really nice. Another piece included here. I uh, actually really do like how that came out. Now this is going to be... Uh, <laughs> Kind of my gripes here. So if, before we even look at the heads, because we do get another interchangeable head, he does have the Hardy Boys pose, his kind of juke dance move with the two fingers. What uh, would a Hardy be if that was not included? But the heads, mine, you're going to notice it right off the bat before we even get to the other interchangeable head. My head was not painted on one side. You will see the hair. Or I don't know if it, they painted too much, maybe, and it surpassed the line. Maybe that's it. You can see it's not even. It just looks really off. If you guys can capture it, it's just hard for this camera to focus. There you go. You can see it on this side. It looks like he's missing a patch of hair. Like Bret Hart came and pulled Shawn Michaels' hair out. Looks like someone did that with Jeff Hardy. But I don't know if this just extended too far out. And that may be the issue. But you do get these screaming sculpt here. The, the head actually looks really nice. Uh, let's bring him in a little closer if we can. You can see uh, how his teeth look here. Painted really nicely. He does have the, uh, the facial hair on there as well. Kind of the fade in his hair. And even look how the bun is. So I like how that came out. This is the other interchangeable head. Uh... I don't know if this was misprinted. Somewhere on his mouth just looks really weird. I can see the likeness, right? It's a decent likeness to Jeff, but both these heads kind of, I don't know, just have some issues or some, some defects from QC on mine. I hope this is... Uh, the case and it's only isolated to mine. I hope you guys do not have the same issues, but that's a little frustrating because now I'm going to have to get another Jeff because like I, I how could you live with this half missing hair Jeff or what? I don't know if maybe I could remove this. I just feel like it's not going to look uh, that good if I tried to remove it with some like um, goof off nail polish remover, but this head looks a little weird, like I said, something around the mouth, but it is the same sculpted hair. But the rest of this figure really does look great. We'll, we'll zoom back in. You see the torso they're using for Jeff here? It may be a tad too jacked, but the tattoo detailing, my lord. We're, we're going to look at it on the overview on from a distance because there's just so much to capture here. And then we'll zoom in, man. Just such nice detailing. You can see even continues on his hand. So let's zoom in for you guys. Look at this sleeve right here. It just looks so awesome take a look at his back tattoo so the serpent on the side uh, i don't know how accurate that is where i think it's supposed to be uh, across the whole side so i think they nailed it i don't know i'm not 100 percent you know the best ta tattoo aficionado on these guys you guys can let me know in the comments below if they captured it how it's supposed to be in the placement but look at all this tattoo work man you can see the hardy boys logo 
Same on the other arm. Uh, the gear itself is just plain black pants with some sneakers. So not necessarily a ring gear, Jeff, I guess. I, more of a street gear look, I would say. Um, but if you guys wanted to swap the head while we're at it, let's see what this other head looks like on the figure. Like I said, it doesn't look bad. It's just like, I feel like they, they misprinted something around his mouth. It's just very glossy of a finish. And of course, the missing hairpiece on this Jeff head. For your Jeff Hardy comparisons, we have a few different Mattel elites. So we have the Top Picks figure here, which I believe he wore the same exact look at some point in his early AEW run. So that can kind of, uh, you know, uh, work as an AEW Jeff or a WWE Jeff. Then we have another Jeff with uh, no face paint on. If you guys want to compare the actual head itself, I feel like they both look good. I, I just can't get over that freaking hair, man. It looks just so bad. But uh, Mattel, let's, let's be honest, they did a lot of great Jeff Hardy figures. And this head sculpt still looks pretty good to me. We also have a few different Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardys, and I feel like the scaling is... I know generally Jazzers is bigger than Mattel, but for the Ultimates, he's just slightly bigger. So we have him in the white here on the left, and of course we have the Amazon fan takeover. Even though people don't like this tour, so I feel like this is probably still my favorite Jeff Hardy in my collection. The last Jeff comparison, I wanted to bring another bear torso Jeff Hardy figure to compare the tattoos. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't even really remember what series this is from. Uh, but you can see, the, obviously, you're going to have the armbands here with the Mattel figure. So uh, there is no deco hits. But if you want to look at the back tattoo and just see the execution, uh, I'm going to say he probably has gotten more tattoos uh, since he's left for AEW. But you can see how the, the serpent on his back looks. And how that other, I guess one call it a demon. Uh, you can see the Hardy Boys logo. So just some comparisons on how Mattel and Jazz executed the back tat. If you guys have enjoyed this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of these figures and if you will be adding them to your collection. While you're at it, don't forget to turn on those notification bells. Stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my YouTube channel. My take on these three figures, they're not bad. I actually do like them. I feel like the gear on Jamie Hayter looks pretty damn awesome. She comes with the Women's Championship belt. I will say the head sculpt looks okay. I don't really like how they executed the hair uh, and the highlights in there. Just It looks a little sloppy. Uh, Brian Danielson... For a street gear, Brian, it looks okay. I'm still, I don't know. The more I look at this head, the more I see uh, D-Bry or Brian Danielson, whatever you want to call him. But I will say I'm not crazy on how the uh, the painting on his teeth came out. I feel like you could see the orange from his beard. It looks like he had a bunch of Cheetos and they got all over his teeth or something. He didn't, wanna, he didn't brush. I don't know. The attire is what it is. It's very plain, very simple. I actually do like the sweatpants design. I do like the sneakers. Uh, they look pretty cool. Uh, just some extra added Daniel Bryan you could add for your collection if you are a huge fan. Hardy looks great. Don't get me wrong. Um, the tattoo detail looks awesome. The gear is very simplistic. I will say instead of the chair, I would have preferred a cloth t-shirt to go with it. Uh, definitely something very unique. Uh, I don't think you'd be getting this chair anywhere else if it didn't come with a figure. So I'm okay for that being, uh, you know, put in, um, slotted in instead of a t-shirt. But I would like to have seen that, uh, to be honest, to complete the look. But he's got such great detailing on the tattoos. Like, I feel like, why would you want to cover cover that up, right? The head sculpts look great. I feel like I said, I've, I've hammered this to death during this review. Uh, the paint application, something looks off on the straight face scan uh, and the hair issue on the screaming scan. But, you know, if there was no QC issues on both those heads, I feel like they would look pretty spot on. So I'm going to say for their first attempt at Jeff Hardy, um, you know, Jazzers did a phenomenal job. I really do like how it came out. The gear is very simplistic, but like I said, the overall, um, you know, total figure itself looks pretty good. I could definitely see more coming out. Maybe some ringside collectibles exclusives. I can definitely see that uh, falling on the uh, that banner. Uh, unfortunately, they no longer have the rights to Matt Hardy. I believe Jeff is still there. So it'll be um, interesting to see if he sticks around, if we will be getting more figures or not. But if you aren't sitting grabbing and any of these figures, they are now available and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. When you guys shop, use promo code 4LIFE to save 10% off your order. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. Thank you again for tuning in. I'll catch you all in the next video review.